Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bull Hunting Wilderness Podcast. Jason Sam Cody. I'm coming to show you today uh, my bull pull-up rope. Now my actual one is, is a uh, uh, three or four mil thick accessory line and it's down in Georgia. So I don't have it with me right now, um, but I've been getting questions on this here uh, now that we're getting closer and I've been doing tree stand videos. Um, I run two loops in my bow line. Okay, this is a bow and pack haul line. And you can see I got one loop right in here. Now this one again is paracord. I just made this one um, because the one I normally use is not here. It's the normal one is just a little thicker and uh, I like it better, but paracord is what I used for many years. But it's just an overhand knot loop in one end, but just big enough to kind of put your hand through is all you need uh, for what I do. And then I have an alpine butterfly knot which I've shown you in other videos, very quick and easy to make, um, but it's right in there to make that. Basically what you do is anywhere in the line you want, you take the rope, okay, here it is, here's the end of it here. I take it and I wrap it three times around my hand so it looks like that. Pull the middle one, goes goes through, then they go all the way around and come back through, and then you shake that knot out, and you have an alpine butterfly. Okay, that's an alpine butterfly. Or you could put an overhand knot in there. It doesn't matter, whatever you want to do, you know, by just taking it like this and then put a knot in, in you know, somewhere in there as an overhand knot. It doesn't matter. Um, but point being, I want two loops, about a foot apart, okay? So you can see I have one loop right here and then I have the loop on the bottom. And the reason I do that is I'm taking them both up at once. I want my pack connected to this one, my bow connected to that one. That way as I lower them down, my bow will hit the ground first and kind of get out of the way of my pack. And when I pull them up, I'm pulling the weight of my pack up first before I get to the bow. So that's how that works. So if we were to do this, when I'm there, I take my bow and I just run the loop on my long bow. I put this bottom loop through and over, and then I come through and I go over once more. Just double lock set that way, because if I don't, and I've done this before where it's just one loop on there, sometimes that'll get wiggled, see how it just wiggled itself right out as I'm climbing and that rope is flopping around? You can get wiggled, it pops that out. So if I run it over, so if I put it through here and I go over once, and then just pull it through the string and go over again, there's no way that can wiggle out. Okay, it's just much better. So I do that, that's how I do that one. Then with my pack, I set the bow next to my pack and on my pack, I have a carabiner on every single pack. Again, why I've said if you don't, you make a pack and you don't put this handle on here, shame on you. It's not a tree stand pack without this handle on here. You know, you can't put it on here. You have to have it here. Okay, that's, that's a requirement. Um, but so you take this, and then I take that loop and I just connect it here. So now my setup, as you can see down here, I will lower that camera a little bit here for you. Hang on, let's get you set where you can see. Okay, so I got my pack and I have my bow are now connected to this rope. On the other end, I use a very small carabiner that will actually connect on there. And I make my ropes about 23 feet long, but I will connect that right onto my harness or onto my belt loop, and that's just gonna lock on. And as I climb, it's coming up with me. When I get to the top of the tree, I take that carabiner, hook it right on the cable of my tree stand. Works perfect. So, but what this does now, see if we get that out of here, so like this, when I go to lift this up, watch what happens as I pull this up. See how the, the weight of the pack is coming off where it's not going to damage nothing or hurt nothing. I pull that up and here comes the bow with it. Okay, now when I get to the top of the tree, I grab this. I can hold this here and my bow, as you can see, is not bothering anything. Okay, they hang together. Now when I go to lower it, let me get the end of this right here for you so we're set. So when I go to lower this down, so you can see my bow hits, but as I keep lowering this, the pack wiggles away from it and you end up with them not falling on each other. Okay, I'll show you that one more time. So as I bring them up, they come up, the weight of the pack is not gonna hurt the bow. They come up to as one, I'm too short to do this though here, to get that whole bow off the ground with the pack, but they come up together and when we go to set it down, you bring it down, the bow hits the ground first as you just seen. Then as you lower it, the pack will separate from the bow and there's no damage of anything. So it's a very simple, easy system. Works really good. When you lift it, the weight of the pack comes up and it doesn't hurt the bow. When you set it down, you know, they're, they're two separate units and they're not hurting anything. And there's enough slack in there, as you can see, anywhere you put this, that when that pack comes down and it hits the ground, even if the bow's there, but there's enough slack that that pack 
doesn't even pull on the bow loop. See? So it's just simple and functional. So that's kind of the whole purpose of that when I get down. Simply pop that off the carabiner, pull the loop through, pull the loop through again, and then I take my cord and I start at the carabiner end, put it on my hand, and I'm old school, I just wrap it around until I get to that first loop. Okay, just real quick and easy. When I get to this loop right there, when I had my pack on, then I roll this off my hand and I just take the rest of it, wrap it around a few times, feed it through itself, and then into the bag it goes. That's it, sweet, simple. Put it in a bag, you're done, problem solved. So that's a very simple process of being able to, let's adjust that, there we go. But that's a very simple way to take your pack and your bow up the tree with you at the same time. Now I have tried double lines before, it's a nightmare. Now it may work perfect on a simple tree like this with no limbs, okay? When you start getting into pine trees and swamp trees and things like that where you have limbs on them, it is near impossible to try to juggle two lines, especially when they start getting tangled around each other. You start fighting them, you try to put one over here and one over there. It's a nightmare. This system, flawless. You take both up at the same time, have your pack a foot higher on that rope, and that way that carries all the weight. Your bow doesn't get damaged. Your bow is actually nice and safe. And the other nice thing is when you're coming through pine trees, your pack will actually clear the way for you. As you pull up through there, that pack has to move these branches and your bow tip is right there. It just follows right along with it. So it clears it out real well. When you go to lower it down, the bow will go down first, then the pack will go down. And if you hit all these pine branches in there, the bow will just rest on the pine branches and stay there. And then as you keep lowering, your pack will then push through those and then your bow will just kind of follow right down through it. And it just works like a champ. So it's a perfect system. So that's how I do that with that pull up line. I wish I had mine here just to show you, but it's really no different. It's just a, uh, it's just a accessory line that I bought. It's uh, a little better than paracord, but honestly paracord is what I used for, for so many years. Same concept though, a loop on one end and then put a, you know, put a alpine butterfly or an overhand knot you know a foot up that thing and uh, hook your pack with a carabiner on there so there you go a little tip for you hope you enjoyed it